hello guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while on my last video and i'm back and i'll be doing some good stuff for you guys showing you videos i've worked on which is vfx i've worked on the bus so the first thing i would like to do today is to show you my vfx that i did here so this what you see right here is procedure crack so you can see that this is how it looks in the final you can see this in the 3d view you can see that this is a procedure crack you can see the ground so over the past few months let me see yes you see that i love doing cracking breaking things that's all what i love doing inside of 3d so and i have gradually grown and i've learned a lot on how to break things how to crack things up so i've developed myself on that so the way i approach things based on breaking things as different i've changed differently and how i break things so for instance the way i break the floor is different from the way i normally do it in my previous videos so i'm going to show you there are very evil simple ways of doing this and i will show you how i do it so if you want to break something, it's very easy. So let me just go back to my first scene. Okay, so for the first thing I would like to do is to add maybe a cube. Okay, so this is the cube that I just added and what I will do is to scale it up a bit. Okay, it's way more bigger. And if I want to break it, this cube, maybe I want to add a O to this and the O will not be, be like a straight O, very roundy, you know what I mean? You've done this before, I know. So, want to break something like maybe crack. Oh, so let me just show you a quick way, and it's very efficient and it's very good to do it this way. So, I, I prefer doing this way because this is the best way to do it. So, okay. So, what I will do is to add, we can add anything, any object you like, but I will add an icrosphere because you can see how the face looks. So, I'm going to just drag it up a bit. So you can see this icrosphere now. What I will do now is to let me just go here. I can subdivide this boss. Let's subdivide first. Let's add two. So now let's go here again and add the displacement to this. So click on new. Click here. So go to the movie and change it to cloud. You can see it's very cloudy now. So we can smooth shade. You can see what we are working with. So for this, I will just try to give you some random shape. You can see what we have here okay so i'll just go back to my vernoy you can see everything is look so i can just increase the strength if i want and i can decrease it depends on what you really want to do okay so what i would do if i want to break this i can use this object to break this up so I'll show you what I mean. First thing I will have to do, and first thing you always do is to assign the transformation. So I press Shift A, sorry, Control A, then I will assign, apply a transformation like so. So I just click here, also just drag it to the center of this cube like so. Drag this up, then scale it down a bit. Now, if I want this to break even more downward what can i do is to just scale it to the z axis like so so something like this okay let me drag this up a bit something like this should be fine so what i can do is now is to assign also this scale the transformation rather okay so after applying this transformation, you can see that the shape distorts randomly so you can just tweak this you can see that now we have very much more likely Oh, okay so to break this you can just click here then shift click on this one you can just press ctrl minus sorry click here and shift click this one then press ctrl minus you can see how this works with the ctrl minus and this is exactly what we really want you can see that this o is very quick and breaking and you can it's real procedure you can tweak the settings right here if you really want something that is dense, you can see that this is almost round. You can just increase the depth. You can see everything is working fine. And this is exactly what, how I always do my cracking, right? Let me just show you this. 
you can see that this crack is not like the one i did in my previous previous video okay so you can see how this is done okay for this crack here this is done procedurally so let me show you how i do this okay now how you should always do it also so now that you have this one now you can assign this or apply it if you like just click here then apply apply okay so you can just click on this cube now you can apply the boolean apply now you can delete this it's no use so now what you can do now is to add the material to this ground you can see add the material to that so if you want to click or want to select only the inside of this object there's an easy way to do that so how i always approach this is to select all the faces so i just click here change it to face selection mode then i'll select all the faces outside all the faces outside select all the faces outside and make sure you select the bottom so what i can do now is to just invert the selection and i will get the inside you can see this is breaking out okay so i want to get this inside i just press ctrl then i it will invert the selection so what i can do now is to apply this into this vertex group so i just click on add new so assign it to the vertex group so i can just deselect it and i can just select the vertex group and it's already assigned to the vertex group these are the workflow you must add to your blender and this is how you should work in blender okay so now you can see how i make this one so i don't want this video to be too long perhaps i will show you everything there's a lot of things you need to learn you can see this is really really cool and this crack outside here i really want to show you how i made this procedurally but i will make that in the next video coming very very soon you can see all the textures i made to get this you can see from this to this you can see everything is procedurally created okay so that is that for today and i will meet you in the next video and i am back once again and thanks